to fertilize plants, that's acceptable. As far as using human, human um, excrement to fertilize plants, I'm not too sure about that. But I do know, for example, like horse manure is definitely yeah, used. Yeah. If you look globally, yeah, like I'll show you something really quick. Like, uh, go sit on this side, Russell. Matter of fact, stay right there, stay right there. I'm gonna show you something really wild. Uh, China, right? Yeah. Most of the people that live in China live where in China? In Beijing? Gong Hong? No, for example, I'm gonna look at a dot here, a dot here, and a dot here, and a dot here. Most of the people Ooh, live which side? Know. North, south, east, west? Uh, what? East, east. This side? Yeah. Definitely, right? So most of the people in China live here. Yeah. Right? Why? Why do they live there? Yeah. Because you see those round stuff is mountains. Yeah, definitely mountains over here, but why do they live mostly here? There's forests, like store rainforests. What could they do there? They could do grow crops. Grow crops. So this area, okay, is highly is used for farming. Now if you look, okay, China has four natural barriers, okay? And what's one natural barrier for China? You just said it. Mm -hmm. Mountains, right? What's the name of the mountains? The Himalayas, right? Oh yeah, the Great Wall. Uh, okay. China. Does China have a desert? Yeah. Yeah, dude. What's yeah. it called? The Gobi. Gobi Desert. Okay. Does China have a plateau? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's called the Tibetan Plateau. Okay. And what's the other natural barrier for China? Water. What's the name of the ocean? Pacific. Okay. Now here's what's really, really cool about China, and no other place in the world has this. China has one man-made natural barrier. The Great Wall. The Great Wall. <laughs> do, do you, now, now think about this. China has five ways to keep people out. Go on. Okay? It's got a desert. It's got an ocean. It's got a desert. It's got an ocean. It's got the plateau, and it's got the mountains, and it's got the Great Wall. Now, the idea is, can you see the Great Wall of China from space? No. Yeah. 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 No, yes. Yes, you can. Yeah, definitely cool. Now, here's the idea, though. What we were talking about is. China has a big population, right? Yeah. Now, if you're, talk, if you're talking about feeding all these people and keeping them healthy, you got to make sure that you use this farmland. Now, one of the ways you reproduce crops, okay, is by using compost, like you said. The other thing, too, is if you think about ancient, ancient history, ancient civilizations, ancient. okay, when you're talking about that, all ancient civilizations have one thing in common. Egyptians, write this down. Egyptians, uh, people who used to live uh, in India, okay, even in China, and finally Iraq. Okay? Iraq? All three have one thing in common. What's Iraq? Iraq is the uh, present. When you get to high school, you're going to learn about Mesopotamia. Okay, Mesopotamia. Oh, that's a, that's that's a really messed up. That place, yeah. Now, why do they call it Mesopotamia? Because Meso stands for what? Like New England? No, Meso. Meso means what? Meso. Food? Meso equals, what's another word for Meso means? Dirt. If I'm standing, Mountain? where am I standing in the table? Middle. In the middle. Meso means middle. Middle, so middle life? We call middle Iraq. Life? Back in the days, they called it Mesopotamia because it's the city in between two rivers. Okay? But you'll learn about that when you go to Stuyvesant and all that cool stuff. Yeah. Um, back in China, when my sister was a little girl, she thought she was Superman. She jumped off a building, she got electrified, but while she was doing that, she saw our neighbor stuffing poop into the ground. <laughs> like I said, I'm glad that I'm glad, I'm glad that like I said I can't even I can't even imagine I can't even imagine how that how that even came into your mind right now, but what do you got there? Let's hear what she gotta say. They sell towels. They they use garbage to like to make a house. Like they use a like they have the most garbage because it has lots of people and then and then they and then they took the garbage and then they get it into a big square and then stack it up to into a garbage house. Well yeah, most of the time if you look across the world, a lot of people when we look at the United States we're pretty advanced as far as sanitation is concerned. Yeah. So with all the garbage we have, we can take it in, we know where to recycle it. But if you look around the world, their sanitation in some areas isn't as advanced. So like she had just mentioned Sao Paulo, which is in Brazil. In Brazil, for example, they don't have the same type of sanitation. So what do they do with their garbage? They recycle and actually use it to build their homes. Okay? Now, but before I answer your questions, I just want to make this point. Egyptians, Indians, Chinese, and people from Iraq all made sure that they moved their civilizations next to one thing. What's the one thing? 
Rivers. 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 Okay. Rivers. Mars. Okay. Rivers. Now the idea is, yeah, what's the name of the famous river in Egypt? Uh, Nile. The Nile. What's the famous river in India? No, no, this, no, no, no. It's, uh, there's a clue in the word. It's named after India. 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 No, it's India. Called, so India. Egyptians had the Nile. Egyptians had the Nile River, right? Indians had the Indus. Indus. What's, what's the famous river in China? Yellow. Yellow. The yellow, or what's it really called? You should know. Hello. Yellow rock. Yellow. It starts with H. I'm, I'm gonna mess it up. I'm not gonna Hong. pronounce it right. Hong. 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 I think it's the Hong He. Hong you see, you said oh, it's so God. nice. It, it sounds great oh, when you God. say it. yes. But it's called the Yellow River, and Iraq has two, called the Tigris and the Euphrates. Tigris. Now the idea is, Tigris. years and years ago, where did people, where, where did people in ancient times put their garbage? In the river. In the rivers, okay? So now, think about this. Over hundreds of years, putting your garbage in the river, is that not going to affect the ecosystem of the river? Yeah. yeah. So what are you going to see less and less of in the river? Food. Well, specifically what? Life. Fish. Fish. They're going to go away. Okay. Bye. So the idea is everything we do affects one thing or another. Now, somebody was making a good point. When we're thinking about ecosystems, when you're thinking about the ecosystem of the world, is Canada dependent on Russia? No. no. What do you mean? If I pollute all of Canada to the point where it's toxic there, is that not going to affect the world? Yes, it yes, is. Yeah. All right. Just like next to the world. Just like yeah. Just now look how big, look how big. Earth is this is huge, right? But we have a lot of water, right? Is it possible to fill up the whole ocean with garbage? Yeah. No, maybe. Maybe. Not, maybe. I mean, that's over time, right? But uh, there are some places. There are some places in the ocean that is seven miles deep. It goes down seven miles. Have, oh, we, been, no, 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 have we been able to go down that far? No. 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 What's the farthest we've been going down? Uh, Six. Four. Four. Three. One. Two. One. Mile. One. One mile. One mile, really? One mile. That's pretty far. All right. When you get down, when you get, when you get down one mile deep in the ocean, are you going to see a different kind of ecosystem? Yeah. 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 Black, black, does light black. does light from the from the sun no, penetrate to one mile deep? No. no so yeah. we're going to see fish down there. That look ah. creepy and look scary. Creepy, like creepy and scary, right? Oh, and that oh, that's, oh. that's that's a separate oh. kind of ecosystem. Some yeah. the fish have this like little. Head like thing here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You saw that? Show, 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 show. Yeah, that's the thing that pushed me out. That is pretty. Now listen. Yeah, Nemo. Oh yeah, there's also yeah. the Nemo one with the you know the, the fish. The eyes. fish you're talking about looks like this. This is a bad picture, but it has like a thing that goes like this. That's like a little light. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's I know. Well, never once now, you know, if you think light. about this fish, right? For never. it to develop this antenna with a light on it. What caused this fish to develop that? And a mutation. Mutation. Mutation, well, but specifically like, it comes from what starts with an E. Uh, energy. Environment. En not environment. Environment. Yeah. In order for, this fish let's say the fish looked like this before. Let's say it looked like this. Just one little tail. <laughs> and then, I like that. And then it goes from that to this. What's that call that change? Uh, like, like, like,